What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we are going to be going and update the way you download created stadiums to be used in online games. Uh, there was some confusion in the last video. Some were losing their ballparks when they make it um, because there's a different kind of way to save it. Uh, if you're making your own in the last video it was basically just focusing on picking one from the vault and then using it but if you are making your stadium and going into the vault it was kind of not saving it for you so this video i will try my best to completely show you how to get this done another disclaimer is another question i got in the last video is that hey um i don't have it it's not showing up here in the stadium creator well one, you have to have the next gen version of the game. So you have to have PS5 or the next gen Xbox to have Stadium Creator and to be able to use Stadium Creator. So if you're on PS4 or the older gen Xboxes, you won't see this at all and it will not be available. So, all right, so let's go ahead and jump into Stadium Creator right now. We're gonna go over if you were creating a ballpark, how to save it. So. You'll get up to this screen, pick one that you want to overwrite. So we're actually going to go over to the Matt Wilson Park as an example because we're going to overwrite that one. So we're going to go into that one and overwrite that. So it doesn't matter which one you pick there, whichever one you want to get rid of, you can pick. So once you get up to this screen, you're creating your ballpark and then you're done. You, you want to get it saved first before going into the vault. I think the problem that a lot of people came across watching my video is that I showed you to go to the vault first. You don't want to do that, right? You don't want to do that if you're creating your own ballpark. You only want to go to the vault first if you're just going to search for a ballpark you want to use that's created by someone else. So, if you created one, say this is the one I created right here. What you're going to want to do actually is save first. Save changes. It's going to ask you if you want to throw it into the vault. That's where you say yes. It's actually going to send you to this screen first. You pick one to overwrite. So we're going to choose Matt Wilson Park again. It's going to come up save to vault. As you see up here, you're going to say yes. It's going to save to vault. Perfect. So if you are the original creator of this ballpark, you can now actually search for that, that ballpark. So once that's saved, that's good. That's going to be in the vault. But you also have to find it now. You have to go into the vault here. Find your ballpark by pressing square. So we're going to press square here for search. So we're going to search and then search type here. You can't really see it. I'm going to move my camera. So you're going to want to search type. So you're going to search type to competitive safe because if it's non-competitive safe, you won't be able to use it in Diamond Dynasty. And that's what the point of this video is, is to be able to use these ballparks in Diamond Dynasty. So you're going to want to switch it to competitive safe. Next, you're going to search by online ID. So you type in your own online ID. So mine is official Atron. So we're going to look for that. Once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and press square for search. And it's going to search for all the parks that I've uploaded. So that Matt Wilson Park we just saved into the vault. This is the part where you have to follow along if you want to use it in Diamond Dynasty. So that's the one we just uploaded. We're going to press X on that. We're going to press download. This is the part that's needed to be able to use it in Diamond Dynasty. And then once it says that, stadium download complete, press OK. You're actually going to want to go back to this settings again after that. Save changes again. It's going to make you choose a ballpark you want to replace. Replace that same exact one or any one of these out here. Replace it with that. And then it's going to say save to vault again. Say yes. After you see this, upload completely success, completed successfully. Say okay. You don't have to save it again. You can actually exit and press save and exit if you want. But you can just exit at this point. So, But just to be sure, we're going to save and exit. It's going to ask you to possibly put it back into the vault. But you can just say no at this point here. So if you want to just skip that part, go to exit and then it will just exit you. So now to check your work, we just go back to Diamond Dynasty here. Go into a Ranked Seasons game. It'll tell you if you can play it or not. So go into a Ranked Seasons game here real quick. 
pick our ballpark. It'll tell you if you can't use it. I'll show you a couple instances where we can't use a ballpark. So Matt Wilson ballpark, there it is right away. We're going to press X on it choose and then it's gonna it's gonna find a game for us so i'm gonna show you an instance where it would it bring up an error if you did it wrong so it looks like they updated this to where you can't even choose it it's gonna have a locked key or a lock that's gonna show up at the bottom right of it and it'll tell you you can't use that because it's not in the vault you'll know you did it right when it shows up like this without a lock so that matt wilson park there um, and that's how you do it. That's how you save your own ballpark to be used in Diamond Dynasty and to not lose it. Now, let's go make an example when you just want to go grab a ballpark from someone else, right? You didn't create one. You just want to grab one from the vault that you saw and you know the username and whatnot. So we go back into Stadium Creator. It's going to show up as the screen where, you know, you get to pick all your ballparks. So pick one that you want to get rid of. In this example, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that Matt Wilson ballpark one. That's just a random one I chose, but we're going to go get rid of that. So we'll press X on it. So remember last time, if you were creating one, this is where you would create and then you'd have to save. But we're skipping that part if you're just going to grab a ballpark from someone else. So we'll just head straight to the vault, go into the vault here, and then we're going to choose one. If you have that thumbs up like that you can use it in diamond dynasty if you have this the bat with the you know cross sign or stop sign right there whatever you want to call that you cannot use that in diamond diamond dynasty you can still use it in road to the show and offline games just not in diamond dynasty so make sure you find one that has that thumbs up so now search again so if you know someone's username you want to grab their ballpark you just search they did add this so this is a new thing that they added well not really new but new from my last video my last video they didn't currently have this so we're gonna go ahead into search search by online id unless you know the ballpark name you can search by name but you got to switch to online id and i'll show you again here so there you go online id or name if you know the ballpark's name you can search by name but it's easier to go by online id we're gonna go ahead and also look for myself again here just for another example we're gonna go ahead and press square for search. It's gonna bring up all of the ballparks I've ever put up under my name or I've, oh, I've downloaded. So like this one, this is my prestige club right here. We're gonna go ahead and press X on that. Go ahead and download again. So kind of the same process as if you were finding your own ballpark. Press okay. And then you're gonna wanna go to save changes. Pick the ballpark that you wanna replace. So in this instance, we're gonna replace Matt Wilson Park. Do you want to save this stadium to the vault? Yes. Upload completed successfully. Okay. And we're actually going to go ahead and try and see if it'll just let us exit without having to save it again and go through that process again. So we're just going to exit. You should only have to do it once. And now to check our work, we're going to go back to Diamond Dynasty and go into a ranked game and see if it'll let us. And there it is. So it does say this for some reason right away. But if you press a couple of times, it should bring it up. There we go. See, sometimes, I don't know if you're just, if, if it's your first time trying to get into it, it'll say you can't use it, but you actually can. So you see how it let me there after a couple of tries? For some weird reason, it, it says you can't do it when you're trying it for the first time. So we're just going to go back into it and see if it'll actually let us right away again. Yeah, let us right away. So maybe it just takes a little bit for it to upload or download in this area, in the Diamond Dynasty area. But after that, you should be completely good. I think we've got it down. It's simple. It's slightly different if you're creating your ballpark and wanting to upload it. You got like an extra step there, an extra save step to get that ballpark in there. So once you finish up your, your ballpark, do not go into the vault. You have to save it first. And then you have to search for it in the vault again. There may be a faster way to do it, but that's the way that I've been doing it. And there hasn't been any problems at all. Like I said, there was some confusion in the last video. But I think it's because in that video, we focused on just grabbing one from, from the vault. Not actually saving it after you create one. So I think that's where the confusion came. And this video should help you guys out. Thank you all so much for watching today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Turn on post notifications. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.